Um, so I just wanted to start off today by introducing myself. Um, and, well, first to say thank you guys so much for, for joining today. Um, and then to introduce myself, I'm Jenny German. I'm the executive director for the Mannheim Township Educational Foundation. Uh, we are um, uh, an organization that um, gives grants to our teachers, administrators, PTO, and student groups within the Mannheim Township School District. We also have um, memorial funds within our foundation that people have set up. Um, and I'm here today to talk about one very special memorial fund that we have. Um, we're actually here. We have in, invited our, our two students here um, to present the 2021 James L. and Jane Louise Wirtz Memorial Award. Um, this award is in memory of our Mannheim Township alumni, Jim and Jane Louise Wirtz. Jim graduated from Mannheim Township in 1982, and he earned his bachelor's degree from Franklin and Marshall and his pharmacology degree from the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and Science. Jane graduated from the Mannheim Township High School in 1985. She received a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's of science from Bryn Mawr College and served in the Peace Corps uh, for, from 1990 to 1992. Following her graduate work, uh, assignments took her to many countries in Africa, the Middle East, and in Europe. Their parents established this award uh, through the Mannheim Township Educational Foundation to honor Jim and Jane's legacy to support and to support their belief that success is found through hard work. They understood that the transition from middle school to high school can be very difficult and this award recognizes two students who demonstrated a great deal of positive growth uh, during their freshman year and acknowledges outstanding improvements in academics, social skills, volunteerism, and athletics. Each student is, will receive a certificate that we will mail to you and a $100 check from the Memorial Fund uh, of the Educational Foundation in recognition of their freshman year accomplishments. And I am thrilled to announce that the 2021 winners of the James L. and Jane Louise Words Memorial Award are Hadatha Innocent and Logan Mink. Congratulations to you. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we, um, we ask our teachers, our, uh, our teachers of freshman students to nominate um, some students for this award and then choose the winners. Um, so we've asked the teachers that nominated you to be here today to talk a little bit about why they, why they chose you, why they thought you would be a great recipient of this award. Mr. Klopp, could you uh, share why you nominated Hadassah? Sure. Um, uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So uh, she has just shown so much growth. Um, I, I think every marking period, she has improved her grade. Um, she has become more comfortable. It, it's not easy um, uh, being, being new to a school. Um, and um, she, she has done a great job of um, being a self-advocate of um, just kind of learning uh, the culture and how to navigate Manheim Township and uh, how, to, how to become a good student. Um, she, she has done a fantastic job. Um, uh, and uh, all of her uh, involvements as well with, with music. Um, it's just great to see how much she's grown since the, since the beginning of the year. It's also great to see your face without a mask. Um, <laughs> so that is, that is fantastic. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I'm just so proud of her and the hard work that she's put in this year. Um, uh, yeah, she, she did a fantastic job and I'm, I'm very proud of her. Uh, that's, I hope you're proud of yourself. Um, and, and I'm sure, uh, mom, you're, you're proud as well. So yeah, congratulations. It is, it is well-deserved and I'm, I'm glad you can be recognized for all of your hard work this year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Logan, you were nominated by Mrs. Pfeiffer. Mrs. Pfeiffer, could you share a little bit about why you nominated Logan? Sure. I just have to say to, I hear Logan going, wow. And I see your, I see, I think it's how, how do you say your name? Hadassah? Just yeah, to see yeah. your smiles and see how excited you are is just like warms like my heart to know like that. Just I think both of you came in here a little nervous. Logan was worried that he was in trouble. Yeah. But just <laughs> to hear him say, oh, my gosh. And just to see how happy you are. Like, it is good that you don't have your mask on to see because we probably couldn't tell. But that is just so awesome to see that and to realize like how excited you are and to like know, like to hear that those accomplishments. So I just it's so awesome just to see your reactions, both of you to that. So um 
back, I worked at the middle school with Logan last year in eighth grade. So he had the pleasure of me moving up to the high school with him. I'm not sure if he was happy about that or not. <laughs> um, but so I saw this huge growth of somebody who I know for a while went remote and just said to me, this was not my thing. I couldn't do remote. And he just sat there explaining why it wasn't working for him. And I could not believe, you know, just the maturity as a ninth grader to say, Hey, I was starting to slack off. I was starting to be like, yeah, maybe I'll go to class or I, maybe I won't. And to realize that was not okay. And that he had to do something about that. And I think that speaks volumes for a ninth grader. Cause I think some ninth graders are like, really didn't, it didn't really bother them as much. Um, I'm seeing an individual who is like talking and feeling like we, that he like really fits in and belongs here in the high school and talking about different teachers and telling me he's participating in class discussions where teachers are asking him, Hey, you need to let other people like talk because you're taking, you're monopolizing a class discussion. And honestly, I, I just look at him. I'm like, does I cannot believe that like that's happening. Just really feeling like comfortable, um, work ethic, just a lot of things like working and doing English work that I know his mom and dad, that was probably a constant struggle of write, writing a paper, either not doing it or just giving up. And to know that he wrote a term paper this year. And he even said, I, I didn't even want to write my eighth grade term paper. And here I am in ninth grade writing this paper just speaks volumes of this individual. So it just, it was something that when this award was presented to us, he was like the first individual that I thought of that he definitely is deserving and shows all of those things um, that that award encompasses this school year. Oh, well, you guys, <laughs> you guys are clearly both an inspiration to your teachers and your classmates and how much you value your education and personal growth. Uh, we can't wait to see what you do next. And I was just wondering if there's anything you guys would like to share regarding this award or finishing out the school year. I didn't think I would get an award or anything. <laughs> well, you have. Do you both, like, do you both feel that do you, like the things you did this year, like, how, do you feel that there was growth or like, do you feel a difference in yourselves? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean, earlier in the year, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. But now I have like, books and grading <laughs> on my <laughs> It's certainly been uh, a year full of extraordinary challenges. So I think that this year we do, we do this award every year, but this one in particular is pretty meaningful that they... Uh, that your teachers selected the two of you as just shining stars for, um, you know, embracing uh, change and and personal growth. So congratulations again. Um, it's uh, something to be very proud of. And, and clearly, every everyone your 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 parents and guardians and teachers all wanted to be here just to just to say, you know, how proud of both of you they are. Um, uh, just wanted to say thank you again to Mrs. Pfeiffer and Mrs. and Mr. Klopp for, for joining us and nominating uh, Logan and Hadassah. And thank you to, to our, our families for, for joining us today as well. Um, and and best, best of luck um, with all of your future achievements. We know you both are going to just continue on such a great path.